What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Valorant is now running Unreal Engine 5, and in this quick video, I'll show you how to set up a true stretched res now that the update has released. It's actually pretty easy. Although, of course, we still need to go through the usual annoying steps. Starting off, the very first thing you need to do is close out of your game and open up your NVIDIA control panel, or of course, the AMD or Intel equivalent if you're on one of those. I'm on NVIDIA, so that's the only one that I can show you. So I just right clicked my desktop and chose the NVIDIA control panel inside of here under change resolution, followed by customize over here, where you have your correct monitor selected. You can choose create custom resolution, accept, and inside of here, you'll have your horizontal and vertical pixels. In my case, 2K 2560 by 1440, yours could be 1920 by 1080 or 3840 by 2160, for example, 4K. Whatever you're going to do here, make sure your horizontal pixels is exactly 1.5. 0.45 times your vertical length. This way, you can get a really nice quality stretched resolution. If we set this to 1080, for example, your horizontal pixels should be 1568. This is quite a bit smaller than 1920, of course, but if you're going to be playing at 2K, for example, I'll take 1440 times 1.45, 2088 is what I should set here for the horizontal. Make sure your refresh rate matches your monitor. Test to see if things are working properly. Your screen will go black and shortly after after it should come back. Then I'll hit yes to confirm things are happy. And just like that, it's added to this list. It should be ticked, meaning that it's working properly. Okay, and now it'll show up in not only the custom resolution here, but obviously your Windows settings as well. In order to apply your brand new stretched resolution, it's not enough to choose it in Windows, and it's most definitely not enough to change it in game. If you choose your new resolution in game, even ticking fill, it'll just adjust your UI scale. Everything else stays the same. To get around this, you'll need to hit start, type in device, and open up the device manager. Once you're inside of device manager, head down to monitors over here, and you simply just need to right click and disable all of your monitors, literally every one of them. This won't actually turn them off, and you can very much still interact with them, record them, live stream, etc. Everything's working fine. Once we've done this, change your desktop resolution to your stretched res. In my case, this one over here, apply, we'll choose yes. And of course, make sure under size and position that you have it set to full screen here, both of them for the correct monitor that you're trying to play the game on. Now, the reason we had to do this is because when you start up Valorant, it'll grab your displays resolutions, I guess, from something that looks through your device manager plus minus. Because we've now disabled your monitors, quote unquote, I actually have no idea how they work after you do that, but they do. And the next time you fire up your game settings video, you should now see resolution shows as custom. There's no monitor attached. All you need to do is click fill and apply. And once you have, congratulations, you're now playing true stretched. It is absolutely mind blowing that you have to go through this much effort to get it done. And then once you land back in the game, you should now see that you're using a stretched res. Unfortunately, I can't just magically change back to what I had before for a perfect side by side. So you'll need to take this general shot, let's say over here, and compare it to this one that's no longer stretched. But yeah, that's really that. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot. And in the description down below, you'll find my latest UE5 optimization guide for Valorant. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.